In the midst of this pandemic, people are taking extra precautions to keep their homes as clean as possible. As a result, poison control centers have seen a spike in people attempting to mix at home chemicals to make their own. Bianca Holman has ways you can protect yourself and your family. Household cleaners and disinfectants are being restocked at grocery stores after being sold out for weeks. However, some people are creating their own mixes, which can be harmful. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warns that mixing chemicals like bleach with vinegar or ammonia-based products can cause a toxic reaction. It's been a major problem in 2020. The U.S. Poison Control Centers received more than 45,000 calls related to cleaners and disinfectants. That's a 20 percent increase compared to the 2019 nationwide numbers. While people are looking to protect their families, Francisco Sanchez with the North Las Vegas Fire Department says safety starts when you're in the store. Behind every cleaning product actually has a warning label of what to be careful with. So when you buy a cleaning product, always read that label. It's very important that you read that label because it actually tells you how to use it, how long to leave it on the actual surface that you're cleaning, and uh, actually how to clean it off. Bleaches and acids, including vinegar or ammonia-based cleaners, are the most dangerous when together. The solution can cause a toxic gas or even worse, a fire. Sanchez says side effects can be unexpected. Sometimes you won't even see a chemical reaction. It might be plain water that you see, but it's actually off-gassing. So you might walk into the restroom or into the bathroom, you might not see any type of reaction at all, but it actually it's off-gassing. So you might think that nothing's happening. You think you walk in and all of a sudden you walk into the vapors and you might just faint or pass out. The CDC recommends to keep products out of a child's reach, wear gloves and protective clothing while cleaning, and keep products in their original containers. Reporting, Bianca Holman, 8 News Now.